Good evening, everyone. I just want to make a little video. Um, it's not really tool related or anything. Um, I was just thinking about today and everything that went on uh, with the hurricane and the flooding uh, and just how grateful I am that everyone's um, staying safe for the most part over here um, and that, you know, God's just having his hand over everyone um, and keeping everything in line, which is just his amazing power. Uh, and I've just been reminded of <clears throat> God's sovereignty lately, um, something that's been on my mind, on my chest uh, to talk about. Uh, because so many things going on in this world that tend to pull us away and pull us towards, you know, different things that aren't helpful. Uh, you know, as Paul once said, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. So we might be able to do some things that, you know, aren't necessarily bad, but are they helping us? <clears throat> and with all this COVID stuff going on lately, uh, you know, it just kind of makes us wonder like what's going on in the world so much backwards thinking and things going wrong and rules changing and this and that i just want to share a verse with you guys from proverbs <clears throat> uh, chapter 19 verse 21 uh, a really great verse that a fellow christian shared with me a few years ago very cool guy uh, and I'll, I'll share with you right now so we got to hear Proverbs 19.21. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel will stand. I mean, that's just one of the most beautiful verses in the Bible. As we look through our life and everything that's going on right now, and we wonder, you know, where's God? Or why are things going wrong? Or what's going on? You know, and the amazing thing is, God is there every step of the way, and he's holding us through all of this, um, through the thick and the thin, the fun times and the bad times and the setbacks and the letdowns and, and everything in between, God is there. And we may ask ourselves, like, well, if God's always there, then why do bad things happen? But I think we have to remember that bad things are relative. Um, you know, a bad thing for you might be a breakthrough for someone else. Uh, you look at political preferences or sports teams or anything like that. Just say, you know, you're a Yankees fan, as I am, and the Red Sox win. That's a terrible thing for you, but it's a great thing for the Red Sox. And it could be the same way in life sometimes, where in our hearts and in our minds, something gets set back and we lose something or, or uh, there's been a big change with something and we think, Oh, well, I lost that, and that's over with, and, you know, now i got to move on without it. And uh, we think, you know, it's it's all uh, dreadful and everything, but we don't realize that God has a plan for us, and there's something on the other side of that. Uh, I've seen that many times in my life, and I'm not just telling you guys this. I'm speaking from experience, because whenever I feel like something's falling apart or going wrong, I just think back to God's sovereignty. Um, and how he's in control over everything. And Proverbs 19.21 comes to mind every single day. And I need to have that on my heart every single day. And I need to have God's word on my heart every single day. We all do. We all need to be in it more. A lot more. Especially me. I mean, we could read a chapter a night. We could do this and that. But if we're not truly living with God every step of the way, we're just not going to see things clearly. We're not going to see it as God's will. We're not going to see it as God's plan. We're not going to see things as, through the lens of, of God. Um, and the Holy Spirit does that for us. It gives us a higher sense. It gives us a higher purpose. And it gives us you know, kind of like an airplane view of what's going on. And that's important. So let's get in our Bibles. Let's start reading more. Let's be changed by the Spirit, not changed by the world. And let's, let's influence this energy in the world. Don't adapt to it. Um, let's influence the change in the world. Let's influence what's going on in the world. Because what's going on right now is not good. Um, and you guys know what I'm talking about. So let's just continue to trust God in every step of the way. 
and I pray that you guys would have a great night's sleep. Uh, just keep us in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers. Keep my friends, my cousin, my brother, all my family. Um, and I'll pray the same for you guys. So remember to trust God. And remember Proverbs 19.21. It's a great verse. You guys have a great night. If you like these videos, I can make a few more of them. I've got a couple of verses to show you guys. God bless.